Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Chemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be performing the pre-lab lecture for aldehydes and ketones. Now, what are aldehydes? Aldehydes, by the way, are products formed when a primary alcohol oxidizes, while the ketones are products formed when a secondary alcohol is oxidized. Now, there are types of alcohols in the previous experiment that we performed. We had the primary, as in the ethyl alcohol, the secondary alcohol, which is that of the isopropyl, and the tertiary alcohol, a good example of which is the tertiary butyl alcohol. Now, if we're going to oxidize that ethyl alcohol, which is a primary alcohol, this will give us the aldehyde. And if we're going to oxidize that uh, isopropyl alcohol, then we can get a ketone that is acetone. So this morning, the raw materials that we're going to use are the aldehyde, which is the formaldehyde, the ketone, which is the acetone, and the aromatic aldehyde, which is the benzaldehyde. So for the first part of this activity, we're going to test the reaction for the aldehydes, ketones, and the aromatic aldehyde with the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. So we have here the three test tubes. We are going to fill them with the aldehyde, which is the formaldehyde. To the second tube, we are going to fill this with the acetone. And to the third test tube, we are going to fill this with the benzaldehyde. So this is the formaldehyde. So this is the formaldehyde. We are going to place this into this test tube. Then to the second test tube, we are going to put here the benzaldehyde. This is the benzaldehyde. This is an aromatic aldehyde. And we are going to put into the second test tube this benzaldehyde. To the third test tube, we are going to put here the acetone. This is the acetone. And we are going to place this into this test tube. Then to these test tubes, we are going to drop the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. This is the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. And I want you to observe when I'm going to drop this solution into the aldehydes and the ketones. So we are going to drop the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine into the formaldehyde. One, two, three. We're going to drop also three drops of the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine to the benzaldehyde. And to acetone, we also add the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. Let us shake this mixture of the formaldehyde, the benzaldehyde, and the acetone. And I want you to take note and observe what happens. It 
is there a formation of the precipitate? In which test tube is the precipitate formed? And in which test tube does the precipitate is not formed? The next procedure is we are going to test the reaction of these aldehydes and ketones with the Schiff's reagent. So to 1 ml of the Schiff's reagent, we are going to add few drops of the aldehydes and ketones. So to each test tube, we are going to put here the Schiff's reagent. This is the Schiff's reagent. Then, to the first test tube, we are going to add one drop of the formaldehyde. To the second test tube, we are going to add one drop of the benzaldehyde. And to the third test tube, we are going to add one drop of the acetone. And I want you to compare what happens. This is the formaldehyde. This is the benzyl behind. And this is the acetone now. I want you to observe what happens. In which test tube containing the reagent does the shift reagent reacts with? Compare their colors. The next procedure is to exhibit the oxidation reaction of the aldehydes and ketones with the tollens reagent. So to the first test tube again, we are going to add here the formaldehyde. To the second test tube, we are going to add the uh, benzaldehyde. And to the third test tube, we are going to put the acetone. And to each test tube, we are going to add here the tollens reagent. This is the tollens reagent. to the second test tube containing the benzaldehyde that has add the tollens reagent. Then to the third test tube containing the acetone, let us also add it with the tollens reagent. Then let us mix this three Solutions of the aldehydes and ketones with the tolerance of agent. And afterwards, let us put this into the water bath. Let us observe what happens to each of these test tubes. Let's warm it for three minutes.
I would like you to make an initial observation on the oxidation reaction of these aldehydes ketones with a pellets reagent before I'm going to discard this content of each test tube. And later on, I would like you to make another observations. So let us discard the contents of these test tubes and I want you to observe again what you can see inside the test tube. And let us rinse these test tubes with water. This is the test tube containing the aldehyde with the tolerance reagent. It was warmed, then cooled a little bit and rinsed with water. What I would like you to observe is the appearance of the test tube at the bottom part. Is there anything that you can see? Compare it with this test tube that was containing the benzaldehyde. Then it was warmed and cooled a little bit. Then rinsed with water. Can you see the difference? Especially at the bottom part. Then compare this with the third test tube which contains the acetone added with the Tollens reagent placed into the water bath, cooled and rinsed. Can you see the difference? Write your observations. For the next procedure, let us make a reaction between the aldehydes and the ketones with the Fallings reagent. To the first test tube, we are going to put here the aldehyde, which is the formaldehyde. To the second test tube, let us put here the benzaldehyde. And to the third test tube, we are going to put here the acetone. Then to these test tubes, we are going to add the felling reagent. This is the felling reagent or the felling solution. So we will add the felling solution to the formaldehyde. Then let's add the felling solution to the benzaldehyde. Mm. 
then add a filling solution to the acetone. And we're going to place this in the water bath. Kindly observe what happens. So, and we will shake first so that it will be mixed well. What I would like you to observe is the rate or the speed of the reaction exhibited by the aldehydes and the ketones with respect to the Felling's range. I would like you to observe what happens to the color. This is the formaldehyde added with the felling reagent. Observe what happens to the color before it was heated in the water bath. Then, this is the benzaldehyde added with the felling reagent and place in the water bath. And third, this is the acetone added with the phalanx or agent and placed in the water bath. The last procedure for this experiment is the oxidation of the aldehydes and ketones using the permanganate solution. We will get again three test tubes so this is now the test tubes containing the potassium permanganate and the sulfuric acid dilute to test for the oxidation reaction of the aldehydes and ketones. So to the first test tube, we are going to add the aldehyde. I want you to observe what happens. To the second test tube, let us add the benzaldehyde. And to the third test tube, let us add the acetone. Let us shake and observe what happens. Observe the colors. So that would be all for today. What I would like you to do is to write the observations, answer all the questions given in the lab guide, and please submit your output next. This is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.